we are going to look at the Cooler Master HAF932 full tower case. This is a very popular case in the market because this is a feature packed casing with a lot of options uh, whether it's uh, air cool or liquid cool. But originally it comes as an air cool system. The HAF stands for high air flow and that's exactly what they mean when they say high air flow because this thing has a lot of ventilation. This is the front of the case. Okay, this is the right side panel of the casing. As you can see, there is a massive 230mm fan here, which takes cool air. If you have some hot running graphic cards, it will blow, it'll blow in cool air to them. And there is a small window on top of it. And I am not sure whether you can notice, there is um, HAF written on this side. And that stands for high airflow. And also, extra ventilation here okay this is the back side of the case and on top there are two holes for water cooling tubes to be passed through and there is a 140 millimeter exhaust fan and this is where the motherboard IO shield plate will get installed and there are seven expansion slots all vented I'll show you in a moment and there is extra ventilation right here and this is where the standard ATX power supply will get installed and there will be two thumb screws each side to remove the both the side panels right and the left side panel can be easily removed this is the left side panel as you can see there is nothing much to it there is extra ventilation right here other than that it's a plain old black covered side panel okay this is the front panel of the case as you can see there are four USB ports, firewire port, eSATA, microphone jack, headphone jack and power indicator LED and hard drive activity indicator and uh, below that you have six five and a quarter inch base which is all vented uh, from a mesh and it's very easy to remove just can take it off and as you can see uh, there is a comb, vent, honeycomb ventilation kind of thing and further down if you go down further underneath you have a massive 230 millimeter fan right here which sucks in cool air and it glows red when the power is on and uh, that 230 millimeter fan is there to cool the uh, five 3.5 inch hard drives uh, which I will show you in a moment as I said there are six five and a quarter inch base and underneath there is this 230 millimeter air intake fan for the hard drives inside actually you can remove this part from just pulling here and if you want you can remove this 230 millimeter fan and you can install a 120 millimeter fan from the given rail mounts and there is extra ventilation from the both the sides okay this is the top of the case will look like here you have the power button and the reset button and a small uh, space where you can keep a mp3 player ipod or something and if you install a water cooling system you have a fill port right here that's really convenient and also right behind that is another 230 millimeter exhaust fan so this casing has three 230 millimeter exhaust fans theoretically hot air likes to rise so this is exactly what it means this 230 millimeter fan will exhaust all the hot air inside your casing what I'm going to do right now is remove these two thumb screws right here and you can easily open the side panel as I told you there are six five and a quarter inch bays and they are all toolless you just if you are installing a DVD ROM or CD ROM you just have to slide the DVD ROM and then press this button here and it will secure in that location and to remove it again press it and it will release the lock underneath you have five 3.5 inch hard drive base as you can see and the 
230 millimeter intake fan in the front which I showed you earlier will keep all these hard drives cool and clean but there is one thing to remember there is no dust filter on the front therefore after using some time it may get a little bit dusty uh, to install a hard drive what you have to do is you just have to remove this part and it just slides it out and then take the hard drive in and you just secure it in the place just put it that's it and there are four rubber feet on the other side this will keep the hard drive very steady in vibrations and all you have to do slide it in like so and secure it in that location and on top there's the 230 millimeter exhaust fan and right next to it uh, that's the uh, two holes for the water cooling tubes to pass through and right below that there is the 140 millimeter exhaust fan and next to it is the place where the motherboard IO shield plate will get installed and right underneath that you can see the seven expansion slots these all are toolless you just have to pop it out and and this thing comes out and it's all vented and to install it you just have to keep it in the place and then lock it this is where the standard power supply will get installed and if you have a 1600 watt power supply or something a long power supply you can just remove a screw here and you can pull this part steadily so it will help your extended power supplies and also additionally you can install a 120 millimeter exhaust or intake fan at your wish and on top you can install another 120 millimeter fan on top right next to the 230 millimeter fan or else if you prefer you can remove this 230 millimeter fan and you can install up to three 120 millimeter fans or else you can install a 3 by 120 millimeter radiator so that your water cooling system will have a steady cooling and also these are all the front panel connectors uh, this is for your front audio headphone and microphone jack uh, this is for your fire wire your USB headers and the eSATA port and all the other connectors for your hard drive LED activity and power and reset switch and also another feature of this casing is either you can install the standard power supply on the bottom of the case or you can all together install two power supplies one on the bottom and one on the top of course if you install one on the top you might have to remove the 230 millimeter fan because it will get in the power supplies way and also there are so many holes on the on this tray where you can use to manage your cables you can hide all your cables on the other side of the casing which will improve the airflow inside the casing one small tip on the side panel on the right side panel there is this 230 millimeter fan which is originally installed to intake cool air but if you have a dual PCB VGA card if the GTX 295 you might have noticed that it will exhaust hot air from the top of the VGA card so when you install the VGA card it will blow out the hot air to this side of the casing so you might wanna reverse this fan and make this intake fan as an exhaust fan that might give you better airflow inside the casing